Hello guys, it's Flaming Box back with our second episode today, and it's Bloons GD5. So I haven't done an episode of this for a little while, so today I'm going to be doing one. So I'm going to do, I think, um, a, well, it's one of the harder ones, but it's like, it's full of water, and it's actually pretty easy for me. I'm going to do it on easy mode, because you know that I suck at everything else. It's somewhere in, I think, advanced mode. This one. Challenger Deep. So I've beat this before, so I'm going to do it on easy because, you know. And since now we don't have a time limit, I'm going to not pause the video at all so that you can see the full thing. Well, I'm going to do an all submarine challenge. So I'm not allowed to get anything but submarine. So for the camouflage, I have to do the. Um, other one, the, not the, uh, good path, the, um, whatever's above advanced intel, but, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing, submarine challenge, so, yeah, so, hope you enjoy it, um, so, the monkey sub is a really, really good, um, unit, he has really high attack power once you get him to his, um, airburst darts, his airburst darts are really overpowered. Yeah, sub submergent support, I'm pretty sure. Um, it is using target option to permanently reveal camo balloons in its radius. So, yeah. it. I will have to get one of those. I think we'll do that now. And, yeah. So, for the leads, I don't think... Uh, oh, wait. Right. So, the leads are going to have to be the bottom path. I'm pretty sure the ballistic missile can pop leads. So we are going to have to have one with submersion support. I will do that after I get enough to have a second monkey that can finish. So I won't upgrade to submersion support yet, but I will after I get another monkey that can uh, support him. So we won't be able to have like super omega popping power like like with wizard and super monkeys. But these monkey subs are probably the fourth best tower, I would say. First is super monkeys, obviously. Second is wizards, then monkey engineers, and then monkey sub. That's just my personal personal preference. So, yeah. I think that these guys are really, really, really good. Um, so, what I'm going to do is actually I'll get submersion support. And, uh, actually, no. I will first get another one. And then once I have enough, two, I will. Because if there are camo... We have to turn on submergent support mode because it's not like it always submersions, submerges, sum, blah. So I'm going to get it now. And so this is what it looks like when it's submerged and it just stays like this. I'm not sure what the next one is. Okay, uh, activate submerged using target option to detect camo, pop balloons, and reduce water tower cooldowns by 15% and it does not snap stack, which means you only have to get one of them really. So yeah. I will keep him like this until we get a camo balloon. So, yeah, we won't be able to get anything but these guys. So, submarines are what we have. They're pretty good tower, so it's not like Dark Monkey Challenge. We have to use all Dark Monkeys. That would suck. They're pretty good for beginners, actually. They can get you around, um, with their triple darts, they can get you past quite a few rounds beginning. But after, like, round 20, 25 or so... Like, once leads appear, they're basically useless. So, yeah, we're going to get twin guns and then advanced intel. Airburst starts we don't have. We need to get it on this guy very soon. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure the camo blue will appear very soon. But until then, we'll just keep upgrading our monkeys and not worry about submerging or sporting. Submerged! No. Whenever we put it submerged, like, all the monkeys just, like, kind of pass. So, I'm saving up for airburst darts because advanced intel isn't really going to help right now. Advanced intel just makes it so that your darts can travel through the radius of all other monkeys, which it says allows long-range targeting of balloons that are in the radius of your other towers. So, we need ballistic missile to be able to get, um, to pop leads. Because that's the only thing that can pop floods. I'm pretty sure it pops floods. Blushing Missile seeks its target over any distance and does extra damage to ceramic and move class blood. So yes, it's very good. It's very good for dealing with ceramics. And mode class if you have them, tons of them, like we will very soon. I want the ballistic missile. 
it's gonna be good. So yeah. Advanced Junto, as I said, that can be really useful for now. But Ballistic Missile definitely will be. Like if I was playing this normal, I'd probably have a sniper monkey. I mean not a sniper monkey, a wizard monkey down there, probably uh right at like that where that uh let me just show you. Right there. And he would probably have lightning by now. Okay, advanced intel. I'm pretty sure this is the lead mode. The lead one. Nope. Ah! Don't, don't submerge. Okay, there, good. So this monkey has more attack power than this monkey. Because this guy does not have airburst. Wow. Fail. But we can't do anything about it now. Okay, let's submerge him. Because there will probably be more. Never mind. But if I see any, I will. They permanently remove the camo. So the, um. So this guy can get it with his, uh. Um, ballistic missile. Even if it gets out of the range. Uh, I really hope no more camo. Well, not very many more camo balloons at least show up. Because it's going to be hard. Eventually, we're just going to completely submerge him. Never worry about that. Okay, so now we have to get this guy. And we're going to put him right here. I don't really like spacing out my monkeys. I like them all to be at a choke point. Okay, I'm just really going to put him right here. This is all we got for him, though, so. <laughs> we have to put the rest of Anyways, um, definitely don't want to, gosh, this is hard, but the ballistic missile can luckily just, once its camo's removed, just shoot everything, so that's really good. Um, I'm really sorry for the people who love this series, because, um, I know it has quite a few views, and, uh, I haven't done an episode for it in quite a while. Contest of Champions has kind of just like, taken over mostly a lot of it, so I'll try to do it less, but it's just so good. But, you know, this game is really good, too. Frig. Frig. Ah, uh, there we go. No! Oh, it's that little line that... Wow. This is really ineffective. Really. We need, like, uh, way more. This is really sucky. Okay. Ballistic missile. Hopefully, they'll be able to get rid of all the balloons in the sky. I'm just going to leave them there. We do not want any more camos. We'll probably get another one of him. Another submerge somewhere up here. Just to make sure that nobody can get past the camos. So just, like, go. go, go. Okay, so, this is so, nope. Next, what we're going to be doing is um, f trying to get this guy to a uh, ballistic missile, and then we're probably going to put the submerged guy up there where I said we would, because camo balloons are going to be the biggest threat to us right now, for a little while at least. Uh, we're at almost, we've made it over halfway through, though, so yeah. It's not like this episode is going to be short, though. I'm not pausing it at all, so which kind of hurts, because like... Sometimes, like, transitioning is a pause, you know, so, like, but I don't want to pause this video because I have all the time that I need, and 1 and 50 rounds of Bloom CD5, it doesn't actually take that long. It's a really quick, awesome, fast-paced game. It's really cool. Anyways, uh, the, the little bubbles. <laughs> More camo balloons. Very soon. You have been warned. Okay, well, that definitely means that we're going to put him right here, and we're going to get him submerged and support as soon as possible. Hopefully he can uh, attack down here because of the advanced intel. Advanced intel is, like, really good, because range basically doesn't matter. I'm just going to get that when all the camo balloons appear. Nobody will be able to pass. Hopefully. I'm just going to put it down for a second. Look, look at that. Hey, hey. Okay. Here we go. No camo balloons. No camo balloons. We have to be timing. Okay, let's get another one down here. Because we need more. We need 
as much firepower as we can get. Because we only have one type of monkey available. Well, because I've set standards for myself. And yeah, so we're only going to get some rings. And I'm going to stick to that. Okay, blessed missile. And, well, the camo balloons have not been appearing yet. Hopefully, the camo balloons... It's a, like, oh, there they are. So merch. Okay. There are those. Okay. Doesn't look like there are any camos, so I'm going to put him up. And let's get another down here. Maybe we'll play a bit past 50, because I don't think I've played past 50 at all yet. So, we'll get into the huge zombies and BFG, BFGs, and BFBs and stuff. Um, so, yeah, uh, hopefully, well, don't really have to hope that our submarines will be enough, because I know that they will. They're really overpowered. Well, the tower. They're really good. I'm not gonna put this guy on any kind of summers yet. This guy is just to make sure that no camos. This is for last support if any make it past. And yeah, so this guy, 1275 for ballistic missile. This is like so fun getting all the upgrades. <laughs> okay. So eventually we're just gonna have like a bunch of crud. Summers. Oh good. So none of them are making past. It's like, okay, there. Submerge. I'm gonna go for one round. And if no balloons make it past, no that no that camo because per because nothing has made it quite far unless they're camo. Because submarines are not the best for detecting camo. That's why I never use the submerge support method of detecting camo. We've already lost quite a few lives. And I think they're all camo. Camo balloons because they. Yeah, let's just leave it like that. All of our monkeys are doing pretty well. Oh, unlock fourth tier upgrades for the monkey engineer. I want to use him so bad because of this. This is really good. This is also good, but I love this because it earns you lots of money and you don't have to focus on banana farms and it also pops monkeys, so it's really good. No, I do not have super monkeys because I have told myself that I'm not allowed to get them. Okay, let's get that and save that for a ballistic missile. So. Save up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now we need to just pass this round and then one more. The balloons are actually making it way farther than they are normally. So hopefully none of them will get uh, too far in the last round because on the last round you can lose all your lives. Uh, I think that's happened to me before. I was like doing like all awesome, all like I was doing mostly all spike towers and. Um, it wasn't the round 50, it was like round 100 or something. Well, it some ran pretty far, and then they were just like, they put in tons of zombies, and once they made it past the spikes, they just died. So, yeah. I'm going to keep playing because I said that I would, and I will. But I do need one second, guys. Okay, that was just because um, it was fun. So, yeah. Um, now we're going to keep playing like we normally do. Yes, this is free play mode. We do get XP less slowly, but it's just as fun, if not more. So, I'm really excited about this. So, um, yeah, this is our first showing of more than 50. I'll probably go, if we get to around like 75-ish, then I'll end the video. I probably won't die, because I've done it like this before, except I had like a wizard monkey for the camos instead. Um... But I have had, like, tons, like, going, like, almost filling the whole thing. It was really OP. Like, they just killed everything with one ballistic missile. Crap. Pink camos. Well, nobody's made it past so far, so our camo people are being pretty well. I'll probably put one in the other two, like, corner kind of things in the, in, yeah, so. Just to make sure that no camos make it past. No camo shall make it pass. No camo shall pass. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now we got to get another submarine right here, get him to advanced intel, and almost ballistic missile. So, yeah, actually, no, not even close to ballistic missile, we don't even have close to enough money. But this guy is, like, you have to pop tons of balloons before you can get him from this one thing, but he's really good, because his upgrades are pretty cheap, and they're really good. So, 
if you don't have him, you should definitely get him. And if you don't have this game, definitely get it, because it is really good. Okay, so we need to get these two guys to Ballistic Missile. And, oh, this guy. I don't think I've got him to Ballistic Missile yet. When did I get him? Like, forever rounds ago? <laughs> wow. Okay, so... I'm gonna upgrade this guy first. Yeah, for some reason, when you upgrade them, the balloons popped them out and goes back to zero until you hit it, and then it goes back up to what it was before. I meant back down to zero, sorry. So, yeah, I'm gonna upgrade him first. Him. Because it'll screw my eyes up if I upgrade him first. It'll just be the one guy in the middle, but the one guy in the corner is much less. Yeah, I hate it when it's not symmetrical. It's very bad. Very, very bad. It's bad enough having this guy submerged because you can't see him. So, my, my eye's twitching. Haha, <laughs> JK. Okay, so, um... Yeah, I'm going to next, well, I think I'm going to stop the video at round 65, because that seems like a pretty solid place to end. I'm just going to get as many submarines as we can, and then I will count them to see how many we have, because, you know, I just want to see how many we got. Okay, so, Ballistic Missile, and this is our first BFB. Big freaking balloon. That's what I call it. Okay. That, that was very easy. Like, very easy. Okay. He, it was just like, enjoy that BFB, did you? Yes, I did. I enjoyed his money. Okay. So now let's get advanced intel. Okay, hopefully those pinks don't make it past. That was Huck. Ballistic missile, ballistic missile. Eh. Taking forever to get money. Eh. Like, in the rounds, like, in the rounds, like, 100, like, it's so laggy. You get money so slowly, but then, like, at the beginning of the round, you'll have, like, a 1,000 gold, and then at the end, you'll have, like, 50,000 gold. Because just how much, how many balloons they put in, it's just, like, insane. Yes, this is definitely testing my camo abilities, and it is definitely working very, very well. Uh, one sec, guys. Okay, guys, so sorry about that minor interruption. Um, uh, I have to end the episode sorry, early, so sorry. I will count the summary, so we have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 submarines. Wow, that is really good. So, we ended on round 63. I think it's pretty good. And so, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click, please hit that like button and please subscribe. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.